What's up, guys? Um, I'm going to be screen capturing a video I took with my uh, HD camera of Skyrim, but my uh, the the told me the HD camera thing, the software that has all the videos on it won't let me upload for some reason. So I'm going to use Screencast to ca screen capture it. And I'm going to upload it through that. So if you're wondering why the video quality is not like it usually is with Screencast, that's why it's from Xbox, but I don't have a capture card yet. Since it's Christmas and with money I get, I might try to buy a capture card so I can make better quality videos with the Xbox. But, um, so this is just a screen uh, captured version of a video I took with my HD camera showing off some uh, two armor sets that are pretty cool to find and Skyrim and a pretty cool looking, pretty cool and unique, and unique dagger. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna let the video play and um, uh, let you guys watch. So guys, I have a uh, kind of a new video. I haven't done one of these on Skyrim, I believe. I may have, um, but it's in this video I'm gonna be showing you how, where to, where and how to get two pieces of armor that you may have wanted to get but you don't know where to get them at. Now one is um, if you go over to your Vasker and you know and you go to Ayala. Uh, the hunters and her armor, you know that armor that, you, that she wears. Um, if you know what I'm talking about for some reason, you know, in here, you know, find, find them really quickly. You can see what I'm talking about. Actually, a place uh, uh, about uh, behind Riften, behind the the Jarl's house of Riften, that you can go to get that armor. And I have a set of it right here. And actually, um, my wife Lydia is actually wearing a set of this armor. Um, so I'm going to show you where it's at on the map, and then we'll go there. If the dragon doesn't attack me there. Shadowstone, and it's called Foral Host. Anyway, it's a it's a dragon priest area. It's a place where dragon priest is. And it's actually a quest. It's not like a it's not like a um, miscellaneous quest, it's like a main quest. Um, he wears this armor. It's a 
and this, the next arm fixture is light armor, and it's the Stormcloak Officer armor. If you've ever gone to see Ulfric at the castle or whatever in one hill, and his uh, fist Gunmar or whatever, there's a guy at Gunmar, and he has an armor on, you've wanted it, but you don't want to kill him, this is where you can find the set of that armor. You go here, and he will give you the quest. He'll be here going into the place because he has to kill a dragon priest. So that is where, and if you kill him, after you start the quest, wait till the quest loads and then kill him. Then you can take his armor and go inside and get the dragon cult armor, or the ancient Nord armor from the dragon cultist. But there is a dragon priest in here, because it is, um, I have been asked to defeat the dragon priest in four old host and to Brian hit back his mask. A journal left by Squam Snow Strider may reveal the way past the collapsed areas. So that's the quest. When you first get it, you can do those two points. You have to go do that, get the mask, and get the book, and then, like I said, you can get that uh, ancient Nord armor from the, from the uh, Dragon Cult. I don't want to face the armor right now because I've already got everything I want. But you do get a pretty cool weapon from them. And um, actually, I will go in here because I'm going to show you how to get this weapon. It's called the Dragon Priest Dagger. And these uh, Maids Dragon Cultists uh, use that as their dagger. Instead of like the Iron Daggers, like you see Cultists having, it's a Dragon Priest Dagger. And with my level, it does 10 damage right off the bat for me. So it's a pretty good damage uh, dagger. It's a pretty unique one, I think. Alright, so we go in here. This is where you'll find the first dragon cultist. Right here. It'll spawn. It's about to drop everything so I can get the armor. Because it's heavy armor and it's a lot of crap I didn't want. And there'll be a dead Imperial soldier. Or a corpse. I don't know if there's an Imperial soldier or not. And then you come in here. Don't step on this trap. Stupid like me, and then you have to go up here, and that's where you get the uh, the other the mask and everything. But you can go in here, and I'm just gonna spawn one, see if I can get the mage. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go on these settings here. Uh, gameplay. Now we'll go to novice, and we'll set the difficulty, and that's so I can come in pretty easily, and you can see how it does. But I plan on adapt, adapt, whatever. That's the default setting you start on. That's the setting I'm going to play on. I don't play any lower. I'm just doing this for video purposes. So I don't have to worry about dying and then uh, redo it. So yeah, like I said, this is really, some really cool armor. Um, that I like. It's really cool looking. I believe you can get some like right here. Because they all start spawning. So they're ghosts and they'll spawn right here. Alright, here's a dragon cultist. It's just a regular cultist. And here's all the mages. They were a thieves' deal of hood. Of some kind, of some kind of hood. So all we have to do is search their ash pile. And you'll have this, and you'll have the ancient Nord armor. Uh, the the uh, Thorin's armor, the boots, and the gauntlets, and then the dragon priest dagger right here. This is what it looks like. It does 10 damage, it's got a weight of 5 and a value of 9. Then you flip the full armor set, you just go over to the other ash pile. And then you can take some arrows off of them if you don't want. And there's a, the whole set of armor. The armor, the helmet, the boots, the guns, and then there's some extra stuff here. So you can take that, um, and everything. And then there's a lot more things in here that I haven't discovered because it, I kept dying. So, if that's how you get two unique pretty, uh, Pretty cool looking sense of armor. This is the uh, Stormcloak Soldiers, or uh, General's Armor, or whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. Stormcloak Officer Armor set. Um, it looks really good. So there it is one last time. And then here, one last time, is the Ancient Nord Armor, which looks really cool. The full set of that as well. Alright, and also, if you've played Dragonborn and you get the Azadel Armor set, it's the exact same thing as this, but it has enchantments on it, and there's a ring. So, yeah. So you already get a feeling of what the Azadel's armor looks like. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to get the, um, Ancient Nord armor and the Stormcloak Officer armor. So, uh, if you have any other armor sets you want me to go try to find, and I'll do a video on, send me a comment, and then I will go try to find them for you. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, this is a new way that I might have to record a lot of my, uh, post a lot of my Skyrim videos. Um, until I get a, 
graph uh, 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 screen capture system um, which is what I'll have to get eventually so I can do this kind of stuff a lot better and a lot better quality but for now um, we'll just I'll have to deal with this way of doing it so like I said that's the only one that I'm going to be able to get Xbox content out to you and PlayStation content if I do it um, so I hope you guys are alright with that and I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, explanation guide or tutorial on how to get AL's armor or the ancient Nord armor and the uh, Stormcloak officer armor set and the uh, Dragon Priest dagger so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and um, I will see you in the next one bye